Never fly your drone near an airport. The Simpsons were one of my favorite cartoons growing up. Was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. And over the years, the show has given us great food. The squishy, duff beer, crusty, partially gelatinated, non-dairy gum-based beverages, and of course, the big pink donut. Yeah, this is binging with Babbage territory, but he kind of stole the idea from Rosanna Penzino's Nerdy Nummies, who also did a Pink Simpsons donut video. Everyone's a stealer, baby, that's no lie. Okay, no more stalling, let's begin. Okay, first things first, let's put together the wet ingredients. Well, the mostly wet ingredients, as you'll soon see. Now, in a medium-sized bowl, add one cup of warm milk, one packet, or two and a half teaspoons of yeast, one stick of unsalted butter melted, one teaspoon of salt, two eggs, and a third of a cup of white sugar. Mix it all together with a whisk. Get out the stand mixer with the hook attachment, and into the bowl, add four cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, once the flour's in, close the lid. Add our wet ingredients. Mix on low until it forms into a ball. Alright, once it forms into a ball, take it out of the mixer. Next, grab yourself a large stainless steel bowl and spray it with non-stick spray. Place our dough in the middle of our bowl and let it rise for one hour. Okay, it's been an hour, our dough has rised. I already punched it down. Now we need to roll this out. And I have a few things to say about that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for CRJ's Unpopular Opinion. I really hate rolling pins. They don't really give me a ton of control when I'm rolling out dough. Also, the ball bearings will eventually wear out, causing this. That's gonna create wavy and uneven dough. And on top of that, whenever I use these things, my knuckles always scrape against the dough or countertop. Instead, I like to use a French rolling pin. This gives me a ton of more control. It ends up in much more even, unwavy dough. And in my experience, it just works better. This has been CRJ's Unpopular Opinion. Brought to you by Jack Mexicai Irish Nacho. Tis more delicioso, laddies. So grab your rolling pin and roll it out to about a quarter inch thickness. All right, we got it flattened out. It's time to cut this into donuts. And for that, I have a tin of multiple circular cutters. Don't be lazy and just simply get the donut cutter. You can only use it for donuts and bagels. These, however, you can use for multiple uses. I'll leave a link to these in the description. Now, the dimensions of your donut is completely up to you. But basically what you do is you take the bigger outer ring and place it in an area and put the smaller ring in the center and press down at once. Do this for the rest. Remove the excess dough. And just transfer them to a tray. Then take all the remaining donut dough, reform it back into a ball, roll it back out, rinse, repeat. Now get a straight sided saute pan and fill it up halfway with canola oil. Yeah, no dough oven this time because surface area is what's more important than depth. So heat it up to 375 degrees. Do you live in Australia? Well, the number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. All right, once the oil reaches 375, Gently dunk in our donuts. And once they turn golden brown on one side, flip them over using a pair of chopsticks. 
and then get them out using a big slot spoon and transfer them to a nearby tray lined with paper towel. Now while the donut's cool, let's make the frosting. One and a half cups of powdered sugar. Three tablespoons of milk. One teaspoon of strawberry extract. Mix it together with a whisk. And let's add a couple drops of red food color. Now take a donut, dunk the top, put it back on the tray. And while they're still wet, hit them with a nice dash of rainbow sprinkles. There we go. After hours of hard work, we finally have a scrumptious pink Simpsons donut. They'll be so tasty, you'll be saying, "Freaking sweet! Uh, CRJ, that is from the wrong show, and I do feel like- oh! This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun, and meaning it this time.